Hello everyone. Thanks for stopping by today. We're down here in the basement on the workbench getting ready to plant some onion seeds. So rare opportunity. I don't think I've done any videos down here in the basement, but got a couple things down here. Um, first things first, some water. This is uh, some pH neutral water. My water here at the house runs about a 9 on the scale. So I use some pH down, bring it down to about 5.5 to 6.0. I've got some very old uh, peat moss starting mix here. That stuff's probably 10 years old, but I dug it out the other day. This would be a great use for that. So, might as well go ahead and use it up. Uh, this is a one of those IHOP pancake to go carriers these are nice and deep i really like these i need to get a couple more so i need to go over to ihop and get some pancakes to go but these are nice and deep so it'll give uh, the onions plenty of room for a good root system plus uh you know the tops will be oh probably an inch before i have to take off take the top off so make a real nice greenhouse the onion seeds of choice for this year are the candy onions. These are from Urban Farm. There's their website right there, ufseeds.com. Got these last, eh, it was probably November. As you can see, these were tested last January. So I'm not sure how much uh, longer they would be selling these because they're a year old now. But three bucks gets me 200 seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead, put the, the seed starting mix in here, spread these around, spray it with my pH neutral water, and get these things going. Right now it is first week of March, so I'm actually probably a little behind. <laughs> I probably should have done these a couple weeks ago because onions here in Ohio, have a, they need a long season. To mature so probably a little bit behind but that's okay it is what it is as I say so oh boy this stuff is very dry so what I want to do here is just put about half the mix in oh yeah definitely peat I smell it actually it smells kind of good Look at that, there's like gold flakes in there. Very strange. Okay. So we've got that kind of padded down a little bit. What I'll do now is open up our seed pack. Don't mind my thumb. Had a little running finger versus potato peeler. And I lost. So don't mind that. Oops. Don't you run away. All right, so we've got to do this pretty close. There's going to be a lot of seeds in here. But it's not like I'm going to get 100% germination rate. So in the end, not too worried. We're going to thin these out when it's planting time anyway. So, so what we'll do here is just kind of mix them in a little bit. Kind of like that. I'm going to put a little bit more on the top, but first thing I want to do now is pad those down. Give them a good spray. Give them a real good spray. There we go. Because this is just going to... Uh, Like I said, this is bone dry, so it's just going to absorb all that liquid pretty regular, pretty fast. But I don't want to disturb the seeds any, so you don't really want to pour it in. But I do want to get them very, very well moist.
There we go. Now what I'll do is I'm just going to take another handful or so, put that on top, just as a second layer, and seal this bag up. There's still quite a bit in there, huh? I thought I'd use it up, but apparently there's more in there than I thought. Okay, now we're back again. Give everything a good watering here. Because this is only going to wick up that water. So make sure everything is well moist. I think that's good enough for now. What I will do is water this again tomorrow. Again, this is going to be sealed, so I'm not too, too worried about things. But you never want to let seeds dry out. Once they are, are moist, ready to germinate, the last thing you want to do is have a seed dry out because it will kill it. All right, I think we're in good shape. So we'll put our lid on. Just like that. There we go. Onions are in. And we'll see what happens. We'll check back in a week. All right, I think it's time to do some peppers next. Well, anyway, thanks for watching.